Hi, I'm Ben Wilmore, and I'll be teaching at the upcoming Photoshop Virtual Summit. One of my sessions is on advanced selections and masking. And during that session, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to cover a tip that I think you could use. So I want to cover it now. What I'd like to show you is how Photoshop behind the scenes is storing all the selections that you use over time. And with a little trick, you can get back selections that you've used maybe 15 or 20 minutes ago without having to do anything to tell Photoshop to remember those selections. It's just remembering it automatically. So let's see how it can be done. And I'll make one selection like this, and then I'll click somewhere to get rid of it. Now, if you want to get back a selection, you're welcome to continue working here, do as many things as you'd like in the document. In my case, I'll grab the spot healing brush and maybe try to retouch out a logo that's on a gas pump just to show you that you can be doing as much complicated work as you want. Now, I want to show you how you can get that selection back. Well, you can always go to the select menu and there you'd find a choice called reselect and that would bring your selection back. But what happens if I've made more than one selection since then? Maybe I selected an area over in here, and then I selected another area over here. Well, the standard way of working where you want to be able to get a selection back would be to go to the Select menu and to choose Save Selection. And there you could give that selection a name. Like here, I'll call this one Small Tower. And you click OK, and then later on, multiple selections in the future. If you wanted to get that selection back, you can go to the Select menu, and you can choose Load Selection. You click OK, and you get your selection back. But how can I get that to work if I never told it to save the selections ahead of time, like right now? Well, I can get back all of the selections that I just made very easily, and let's see how it's done. First, if I were to get rid of this selection, I could always go to the Select menu. I might have the choice to reselect and get that one back. But if I go up to the Window menu and I choose History, this will give me a list of all the steps that I've done in the past. And within this list, I should see that I used the Marquee tool to make a rectangular selection multiple times. And I could click back on these steps that end up having selections involved. And those selections will appear on my screen once again, and there's the one I'd like to be able to get back. The problem is, when I went back in my history, it also undid anything that I had done uh, after that first selection was made. So if you look at the gas pump where I'd retouched out the logo, the logo's back again. So somehow I want that selection to return, but I want to end up down here at the bottom of my history so that I still have my retouching intact. I can do that. Here's how. If you go back in history until you get your selection, then go to the Select menu and choose Save Selection. But don't move too fast, because if you click OK, all the steps after the one that is currently active in your history panel are going to be cleared out and replaced with a step called Save Selection. And we don't want that because our retouching is in those steps that are below. So what I want to do is just up here where it says document, tell it to create a brand new document to put this selection into. Then click OK. And if you do, you're going to be looking at a brand new document that shows you a preview of your selection. And in a separate tab over here, you'll still have your document open. So therefore, here in your history panel, you can click on the bottom most step of your history, which will bring you right back to where you were when you thought, hey, I'd like to have that selection back. And now, if I want to get back that selection, all I need to do is go to the Select menu and choose Load Selection. Because when you use Load Selection, it asks you what document would you like to load it from. And I just click OK. And now I have the selection back again. This list of history is limited. The default setting is 50. Well, I'm going to go to the Photoshop menu. You won't find the Photoshop menu in Windows, so you'd have to go to the Edit menu to find Preferences and then Performance. And the default setting for this right here called History States is 50. But I always increase mine. I bring mine up to 100. And therefore, the history list can remember 100 steps. 
And so that's how I retrieve selections that I've used in the past, even if I used them like 30 or 45 minutes ago. If you want more tips like these, then be sure to tune in to the Photoshop Virtual Summit. I'll see you there.